All right, take two. Uh, hello, internet. Um, been a while. Um, happy New Year's, first of all. Um, I hope everyone's uh, doing well on that. Um, and I think it's good timing for me to talk about something that was a big part of this year for me artistically on my artistic journey. And um, it's something that I want to quickly just, as quick as I can, because it's going to be a long video, uh, quickly on cart, just rough chat about this challenge I completed throughout this year. It's called the 100 Hedge Challenge, which basically means you draw a head every single day for 100 days. Many different ways to tackle this. And I want to talk about a little bit about what I've learned about my process and uh, and just give you f some tips and also just a reason for why you should do it. Um, first, just want to give a little context. Um, the challenge, I can't remember who originally started it, but I remember uh, the restart of it was made by Dennis DeLacio, I think, of the 404 Taken right here i'm going i'm going to just screen share what is on my screen and uh, i'm going to go through some of the paintings that i've done um but uh yeah check out the 404 check out the individual artist of the 404 and check out the 100 hits hashtag on instagram to kind of see what people have been doing and that so i think most of the people from the 404 if not everyone is is now done with the challenge but there's still many people doing it and just because these people are done a lot of other people have done uh doesn't mean that everyone's done and it doesn't mean that you shouldn't start it i think I would, I would kind of recommend everyone to do this and I'll give you the reasons why later um, but first I kind of want to go through um, how I even came about it which was through uh, uh, Milo Hartnell's works and um, I think I saw this this drawing first and I thought that was interesting and later on they kind of introduced the whole challenge on on the 404 taken Instagram and I was like you know what I should try that and that's the first thing I kind of want to mention before you even start this challenge, uh, I want you to think about why you're doing it. It's a good way to just, you know, goes for anything basically, you know, why why do it, you know. Um, for me, it was, I, I wanted to experiment, I wanted to learn a, new, a lot of new stuff on that because I felt kind of stuck and I felt like I wasn't trying enough with my own works and that and the way that I go about things. Um, so, with this, I saw this as, as a major opportunity to learn. So that's my reason for doing it. Some other people wanted to be more consistent in their production and that. So they want to just produce more instead of just, I guess, slacking off or something like that. Some people wanted to learn more specific things. So they just wanted to focus on like anatomy. So they do like uh, very anatomical studies or phases and that. Some other people wanted to learn other stuff like color and that. So they focused more on color. And throughout the journey, the whole goal can change, what you want to learn can change in it. So, um, and you're going to see that as well. All right. Um, okay, so this right here is my, it was the very first thing I did. It was just of some random image I found on Google and I thought, let me just do a quick thing of that. And you're going to see a lot of these. I'm just going to quickly go through them so I don't waste a lot of time because a lot of these are similar. You can check the drawings out on my Instagram page, if you're more interested in just looking at the individual, at each drawing, I kind of gave, I, I, I wrote a little bit down about my thought process. Some some are more detailed, some are just whatever in it, but uh, you can check it out for yourself. But I'm just gonna go through these as fast as I can because I take up a lot of time. Um, so this was the first one I did. And when I started out this challenge, uh, I just wanted to like quickly just get an understanding of like, what do I do when I just sketch and that? And for a lot of people that start this challenge, it was just sketches, but it turned out to much more later on the process. Um, so I just I just did a bunch of heads, trying to small different things and that, even tried some watercolor and that. Um, and I did that for, I think, almost the first 20 head or something like that. Trying different techniques, trying different things where like the pencil and like the, the blending stick and a little bit of watercolor and that, some different types of paper. I, I started using the, my first moleskin sketchbook, which is very good paper. This right here is not part of the thing. I even did, at sometimes you feel down as well, so you just do like little random funny stuff, which I think you should do, it can be good. You don't need to, you can take breaks and that. 
um, which a lot of us ended up doing because it can be quite overwhelming doing a hundred heads daily. Technically, I did do that, um, but not every head was a part of the challenge. So um, there's that. Um, so you can see I'm trying out different things and that for the first, again, somewhat 20 heads and that, it was about just get my foot in the water, like just make a bunch of stuff and see what are my flaws, you know? Like, what are these bad patterns in my current works that I can improve on, that I need to fix on? And it's hard to see these patterns in just one picture. You've got to have produced a lot. So, like, the first quarter, it's just me trying to, like, make a bunch of faces. And then later on, I transition into digital stuff. So you can see what a lot of the, a lot of the first ones I've done, it, they lack a lot of expression, in my opinion. They're not that interesting faces and that. They're just very stiff and... They don't really say a lot. I try to illustrate them in different ways and that, but um, how good is that, you know? So when I started to, to go over to the digital, which is my preferred medium, you can see this one here. I tried because when you start with when you start adding color, it has a whole different vibe. But I try to add more expression in it now. I try to play more with shapes. I'm not that good at drawing with graphite and, and just drawing traditionally and that. So it's, it's also something I just wanted to get more familiar with. Uh, but I ended up going back to the, my, the digital medium just because it is where I spend most of my time. And it's also the one that I do my work in. Uh, so, you know, the one I learn my, uh, and I live with and that. So um, sometimes I go back to the tradition as well just because I need to just do that. But you can see I try to play a lot more with shapes now, a lot more with colors and that. And a lot of these drawings, in my opinion, are kind of shit. Some of them I liked at the time when I made them, but looking at back at them, back at them it's like um, I'm not a big fan anymore. But you can see I'm trying to play more with shapes now, just different types of faces. You can, like stuff like this, this is not part of his channel. Sometimes I did stuff outside of, outside of the channel. This one here was very fun to do. Um, let me find that one um, more specifically. But you can see with this one here, I tried to really just focus on like... I want to do this thing where I blend the heads in together. And this is the big part of like the experimenting. I will try different techniques or different ways of doing things. And sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. This one is where some parts of it work, some parts of it don't. Like the um, the red to green transition, I think worked fine, but the red to blue did not. The green to blue kind of worked over here, but over here is kind of weird. Um, I, I think it was inspired by some piece somewhere, but I can't remember what. Um, but I also wanted to add a little bit of graphical elements of that. Um, so like, again, what have I learned so far? We're like 30 something heads in now. Let's say, okay, we're at the 40 head mark. So let's just ignore 40. But we're at head 39. I've done these things called head clusters as well. Where I really tried to like explore more with, with head shapes and that. So that was already a thing I was trying to do. Because I was like, or oh, maybe I do the same head too much. Maybe, let me try and do... Or different things again remember my main goal was about was about experimenting that's what i wanted to do so i wanted to try a lot of different things so here i'm trying to experiment more with head shapes and that um i feel a sneeze coming um you can see also traveled colors and shit with the, with the digital one but and i don't like a lot of them they're very bad <laughs> um and also another um, thing that I got reminded of by another artist called Kat Cartel she's helped me a lot actually um, she later on she pointed out to me that uh, I had this bad habit of making everything way too red and way too like warm colored and that and you can see it in stuff like this and and this is just it's just all warm tones and that uh, and it's not that interesting here it's alright but still not that good and you can see let me see if I can find the the image more closely and that you can see like this shape right here with the shoulders and that that's just a dumb shape it makes no sense it's just you got a floating head on that like oh clearly my focus wasn't on the whole image which it, which it needed to be so i only had to focus on like i only focused too on the face and just kind of ignored the rest and that I didn't pay attention to the rest a big you know big mistake and i didn't realize that until later on so later on i tried to do it a bit more so we are hit 40 now um, and something I've always been bad at was like drawing lines and shit, doing line drawings and that. I was painted more. Um, so I wanted to give that a go. So I do that for a little bit. And here's another problem. Like I just focused on the lines, but 
I didn't think of the whole picture and that's all right you know I didn't have to either but uh, later on I got reminded on how like I should try to do more with my images and that and I'll I'll show you when I hit that point some more this someone bought this <coughs> I don't know why but I should have just given that person the drawing for free but yeah someone bought this that's kind of funny just a little tiny page of my moleskin sketchbook um more line drawings this one i liked so i liked elements of it because like you had a face that had more of an expression and you also got the body doing certain things and that so you got just the flat boring background but i should really sketch more like this just i don't know there's a lot of like not a lot but there's a bit of life in the character here so that was already an improvement on my side, I feel. Uh, plus you got more of the body going on instead of like what I showed earlier with just this bad neck blob shape, not very good. Um, all right, here, this right here is the like groundbreaking point. This is the whole game changer of, of this challenge where I like this changed everything for me. Um, basically, I had a, I had a chat with uh, Milo Hartnell from the 404. Um, and he told me, he get, he's, he told me basically like, oh, Chief, try adding backgrounds, try putting your characters in an environment, you know, try doing that. And eventually I did, and I did this. Now, granted, it's not far from perfect, in it, but for me, this was just like, whoa, I can actually do that, even though I don't know how to do backgrounds properly. Just putting my characters into an environment made everything so much more interesting imagine this image with just with just a flat background like this horrible it would look like shit um but doing this I actually got a fucking image here you know uh so this was a big game changer for me and it's something that i wanted to focus on as well with future drawings and that so i also like these two characters here they got a little bit of personality this this guy's a bit boring but um it's so cool to have these characters in an environment. I can't remember what the environment is. It looks like, I don't know, some train station thing, whatever. I don't know. Um, all right, moving on. <laughs> um, some more head clusters. These are quite bad. These are all right. You can see them trying different things. Also just having fun with just turning the paper upside down and just drawing a, another person there like that. Here's another one. Let me, let me show a close up on that. Even though the drawing is... Uh, like I having characters in an environment it has way more of an effect you can see you know just and I'm focusing more just creating a setting you know that's something that I've always been bad at and I wanted to do more illustrations especially when I if I when I work as an illustrator I wanted to be better at it so just putting characters in a setting even though the setting is poorly designed I'm sorry I'm shitting a lot of my, my own work and it could be annoying but that's just who I am um like I'm still this this is way more interesting than anything I've done previously so again huge groundbreaking thing for me very very big um, also this one for example uh, let me show you that one yeah uh, like this was the uh, original sketch for it as well but just yeah you got a character on you got you know you got the environment it's big and here you can also see no problem like everything's just so red with this character here it's a problem it's not doesn't look good it's too much um also yeah, having this this character right here as well so you can see right now i'm incorporating way more um environments and settings in there which again compared to what i did like 30 heads ago now we had head 52 like 30 heads ago i wouldn't do that so massive improvement now we're on to the um to the studies so basically this is milo he sent me a picture uh, and I sent him a picture so we kind of just face swapped a bit um, so this is the this is the study I did of him so I did just like an original study and here's a like, little process thing and then I just did one where I added a bit of my own flair I messed up his hair a little bit added some paint to his shirt added these little demon shadows uh, all around just twirled his moustache and, and uh, added some uh, weird shit to his sunglasses and that which also it showed me that I could do studies that are that I don't have to be bored making studies. I can just have fun with it and I mess with it as well, with it as well. You know, just add a little bit of my own stuff. So, so the study also just becomes interesting to me. Um, 
I ended up doing with this with uh, some other people of, of the 404 it's like uh, Dennis Delacio um, which uh, this one is also like a big thing for me because like previously like before I finished the image it looked like this I look at how red everything is and that uh, this is where I, like uh, the artist Kat Cartel she pointed out to me yo you got so much red in your stuff man maybe you should add have a more hue variation and a bit more cool especially into the skin color and that and even though this is just more like I edited a lot of things instead of just did a tiny bit of paint over uh, you can see like just face wise it's a bit more interesting with the hue variations and that and a bit more cool tones in the face as well as in, in the environment so now it just doesn't look overly warm anymore again another huge improvement for me that I'm not aware of this bad habit in my own works um so moving on this one is horrible um so you can see i also start to add more personal stuff like i'll, I'll add little quotes and that i'm trying to add more personality to just my regular way of sketching this one here people loved as well this one i tried not to stick to the to the um this is separate amount as well um from also from also from the 404 um here I try not to stick to the reference too much uh, I did with a Facebook, but the colors of that, I just went more my own way. So this was also teaching me that, you know, the way I could just focus on certain things without just sticking to the reference too much. So another great thing, some more color experiments, just playing with shapes and that. You can see sometimes I'm a bit lazy with environments, sometimes I do a bit more. This is when I started um, um, asking for, for people to send me uh, pictures of themselves, like selfies and that. So I could do studies of those because there's a certain realness to selfies that you don't get with these total uh, set of pictures and that. So and so if there's a good light in or some interesting colors in there, I'll be like, oh, that's sick. Other people, some not to <laughs> be rude to the people who send selfies because they're just trying to be nice and that, or maybe they just want to drawing. But um, some people send like shit selfies that just had anything. They didn't have anything interesting in them. So, but some would send good one. This is actually what. Uh, uh, of a friend of mine um so you can see i'm doing more more studies of, of various people this is a uh, girl uh who's also an artist please check out uh nico Bonderes. i don't know sorry I, i'm butchering people's names <laughs> um but i'm learning a lot from different aspects the way i go through either whether it's the process the way i go about things or the way how to capture certain vibes and that so it's always something I'm learning. Sometimes I go back to tradition, as you can see here, I'm trying to learn a bit more about uh, lines and um, and that. Uh, it's a self portrait I did because I was a bit tired and I wanted to try try to do a self portrait, which uh, was fun. Added some uh, personal elements in there, I'm trying to personalize my stuff more and have some of the energy some of my sketches have uh, into that. Made a fourth, did a little duff more. Oh, um, let's see. This one is shit. So again, sometimes I have a little rough patch, just try out different things and that. Sometimes I don't focus too much on on the learning aspect. I like this one. Um, so now I'm just in this phase. I'm just doing a bit much of the same. I don't really know what to do. Um, so I'm like back and forth. So I'm just trying to refine and just have a better understanding of the things that I do. Because uh, I've already learned so many things, so now I'm just trying to get a more, more clearer understanding by repeating some of the same processes and that. I really like this sketch, this was fun. Um, some, uh, this is some style thing, copied someone else's style for a moment there, just try to try. Um, I like these two sketches here, they have a lot of personality, they're not necessarily good, but they, they seem like such a reflection of myself, so that was interesting. So now, and then, I, you know, the, the heads just came easily after that. Now we're like 90 heads in and stuff is getting a bit boring. And because uh, it's just, it's hard to know what you want to learn when you've already learned so much from the process and that. So you're just trying to like, it's like a bike ride or something. Like I really, you know, the professional bike riders in there, you go for a long ride and after you like put your body through so much stress. Because <laughs> it is a challenge. It gets stressful at some point. You just kind of got a, unwind a bit and just like relax still still pedaling on that but pedaling at a slower pace um so i didn't focus too much on and uh these last few final ones until the last head which is um one of the few heads throughout the process that's still like i actually like the studies of of both dennis 
Milo and Sepia, and I think also still like my support trait. But this this one right here was uh, was the big one. Uh, I love this one. Uh, there's still some problems I've I've grown with now, but this painting is supposed to represent everything I've learned throughout the process. So it's adding more expression to the face, adding more color variation, having a background. Um, having little fine details or something like that to just kind of frame the picture. Um, what was so fun about I had so much fun about it with this one. It took me two days though. We all like so, I don't know some six hours throughout two days. But you can see I had this, all these little details. Some you can't really see on the on the actual image when you when it zoomed out and that like this tiny head right here. No one. I don't think anyone has seen that yet. Or just even just these horns, I don't think people t pay attention to that. But this I, something I always wanted to do was create uh, something you can kind of explore in. I just had enough little details that you could at least like look at, like oh look, this one's got a little face here, or oh, the little faces on the nips, man, or um, this guy is smiling or whatever, you know, stuff like this. Uh, and this painting was again like a redo of the very first paint, not the first painting, the first head that I did, which was this one. So it's come to show like everything that I've learned uh, since, you know. So I feel like this really represented like what I'm capable of and also what I can achieve in the future. Um, so like in conclusion of all of this journey was like, I've learned a lot of stuff. I don't like a lot of the hair style I'm doing. And that's also again like a big, a big lesson of this, this thing is that it's all right to make bad drawings as long as you learn stuff. It's all about learning and that and improving. You, sh you shouldn't give a shit about it being perfect all the time because it won't be because you're learning. How do you expect to just master everything new coming your way? You get me? So for me, this was like, I'm just glad I had a, the final piece for something I was happy with because it showed something I could learn. Uh, no, it's just what, what I've learned throughout the process and that. So this is like, this is great. And people seem to like it as well. Um, I quickly want to just show that after this, I had to just kind of wind down a bit as well. Like, like I said, um, um, but it made me learn stuff in a different way. Like my perspective on how to do stuff has like totally changed after this challenge. So I feel like I have gained more reflecting on this challenge and just um, the way that I think like throughout the challenge i've learned a lot about myself and about the way that i do things and the way that i work and the way that i learn and now i try to tackle things in a different way I ex i'm i'm not afraid of experimenting more or i'm not afraid of making bad drawings uh and you know i try different things now like i'm i don't stick to the to the reference pictures when i do studies as much see like with this puffin study i did after the heads challenge like i added a little bit of my own flair just because i like that um, I do more scenes, I add, add more environments and uh, I did a little bit of the Inktober. I didn't finish it because it was, took too long and I was just not feeling it. But I did these scenes and these scenes could be potential illustrations in the future if I start calling them digitally. Um, I did more, I do more bigger scenes and that. Uh, I do more variation and colors and da, 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 all of that. It's something that I've allowed myself to be able to after doing the uh, the 100 heads challenge and that is why i recommend it 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 opens your eyes in my opinion <laughs> so i really want to just uh give a big up to all the 404 mandem for for hosting this challenge uh each individual artist milo dennis hillary sepidemia patrick and michael uh from the 404 um Thank you a lot for doing this. Like this again, major game changer for me. Uh, how long have I recorded? Oh, 25, that's pretty good. <laughs> I did a previous recording, I was like 40 minutes or something like that. Um, do I have any finishing words? Um, I don't know, man. I re again, I recommend this challenge. If, if you wanna just improve your whole art arsenal in a sense, check this challenge out, find a reason to do it, do it. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, uh, but remember, it's still, it is still a challenge. It's still supposed to be challenging and that, because it is 100 hits and it's a lot of hits. Um, and give yourself the time to do it as well. You don't have to do it. 
you don't have to do four hour paintings every day you could do 10 minute sketches or 20 minute sketches or something like that because sometimes you have bad days and it just just doesn't you know you can't do the stuff you want to do um but uh what advice would i give you i don't know just uh, let go of even though it's hard like try to let go of as much pressure as you can and acknowledge that you're here to learn or like gain something out of this challenge um and if you're doing this challenge you might also be in your early state of like the art journey or whatever uh forget about social media in the sense of you have to perform for someone else you're not anyone's slave you're there for yourself you know um and and you're doing this for you fuck what everybody else thinks you get me i know you've probably heard this a lot but it's just important to like do that otherwise you if you start putting all this pressure on yourself and and let people get to you or what you imagine people are get to you like um you're gonna hurt your learning process and that and you don't want that you get me um yeah i think that was it man thank you a lot for watching again happy new year um hopefully you set some new goals for the next year i know i have i have some personal projects i want to do and i want to make more videos actually i have again i have some recordings that i just need to edit like i've got a podcast episode record with um Seppi de and Levisa who's uh against Seppi is from the 404 and Levisa she's also doing the 100 heads challenge they're great people to talk to and hopefully it's something worth listening to um but yeah I don't know what I don't know when I get to edit that but um yeah again thank you for watching enjoy yourselves hopefully do the challenge peace